Hi friends, let's go tour some wedding venues in Cabo. We kind of gave up on the Greek and decided to look into a destination wedding in Mexico. Our wedding planner coordinated all of our tours for four different hotels during our three-day visit, so up first on the tour is the Cape. I've seen this place years ago on Instagram and it was so cool to finally check it out in person. While we were waiting for our room, we got some lunch, and I'm typically not a fish person, but the fish was good. Also, this hotel just had the most beautiful view. You could see the main tourist attraction, El Arco, off in the distance, and it was still well season, and we got to see a few peek their tails out of the water. The rooms were so nice and cozy, and apparently all of the rooms have an ocean view, which is so nice. We were staying here one night and touring the grounds and event spaces the next morning, so in the meantime, we just enjoyed the facilities, swam in the pool, checked out the beach, and watched the sunset. The next morning, we got up and headed downstairs to meet with the staff giving us the tour. This is where the ceremony would be. It looked a little small, but they said it can actually fit a lot of people. They then walked us over to their little fire pit area where you can do a small welcome party at, and they showed us one of the restaurants you can use for a welcome dinner too. Next, they took us up to the roof to show us a spot for cocktail hour, which would be perfect during sunset. The views up here were just stunning, literally a panoramic view. And then on the other side of the roof was a bigger event space for the reception. It's kind of a blank slate, but I think we can make it look really cool. They also showed us a suite that we would be upgraded to for the wedding, which had a beautiful view of the property. So it's a pretty solid choice, but let's go check out Solas. Now this hotel was huge and the rooms were luxurious. I kind of did wish we stayed here, but we just wanted to tour it just to have some options to compare it against. But this is the rooftop area that they typically use for cocktail hour, but it seemed kind of just out of the way. And here you can do a ceremony on the beach and right next to there is a little hangout area which would be cool for a cocktail hour. Now this area was one of the options to have the reception and this is the other place for the reception which I thought was the better option of the two. I just really liked the indoor outdoor concept. Okay, moving on to our next day, Nobu, which was, spoiler alert, Boo Boo. I'm just kidding, Nobu is obviously a super nice hotel. I would definitely see her on vacation, but we were just kind of underwhelmed with the event spaces they had shown us. And let me explain. So this is the main area that they usually have weddings at, but it's just too big for the amount of people we would have. And now this is where a ceremony could be. It had a nice backdrop of the beach, but I don't know. It just wasn't the most interesting to look at. And right next to the ceremony is a big open space that can fit a cocktail hour and a reception. But like I said, very nice property, but I just kind of liked it more for a vacation rather than a wedding. Now, you know, just like the last venue tour, I had to save the best for last. We drove out a bit further to go stay at Hotel San Cristobal. Immediately, this place was just impressive. I had seen so many photos of this place and honestly, it looks just as good if not better in person. The hotel only has like 32 rooms so it's pretty small but I think that's what makes it so great. We first checked out their little beach area that would be perfect for a cocktail hour during sunset. They had this balcony to do an intimate welcome dinner of some sort. One of my favorite spots was this little green hangout area because that green was so moving Moody, I just loved it. This is their chapel where you could do a ceremony inside or you could have your ceremony right in front of the courtyard. Honestly, it was just so beautiful. And just across the dirt road is this old cannery where you can do a reception. Very rustic and charming. I've seen so many photos of this space decorated so beautifully. And here's a look at the room we stayed in. Very cozy, love the aesthetic. I would say it's definitely the worst of the rooms we stayed in, but I mean, worst as in it was still nice. And since we were staying the night here, we just hung around and checked out what the lighting could be like during our wedding and just really got excited about the whole thing. Anyways, while this one was definitely the most expensive one, after seeing it in person, it for sure seemed worth it. So, we booked it. Tee -hee. So get ready for more wedding planning updates. And that's kind of it for a wedding venue search. Please comment the best thing you've seen people do at weddings. It can be decor or entertainment related or anything. Or tell me the worst things to have or do so I can avoid it. All right, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.